Hi everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to go over what it really means to reconcile your bank account. So let's get started. Now I'm in the reconciliation page and I have put that I am reconciling the end of February for my ending balance $2,000. So it's very important that we reconcile our bank account on a monthly basis. We don't want to miss any transactions that are in our bank statement and lose those expenses or underestimate our income. So it's very important to make sure that we enter all of our bank feeds and then go into the reconciliation page by going to reconcile to the gear icon and then reconcile. And then once we compare what our bank statement does, and I'm sorry, what our bank statement has uh, with what's in QuickBooks, then we can mark them off. But one thing I want to talk to you about is I have noticed that uh, sometimes we can see old stuff and we may not see it in the bank account. So we assume that it's not, um, it hasn't cleared or it's not part of it. So we skip over it and then we continue on to what is on the bank account. But let me tell you, if you do that, you need to make sure that this is not a duplicate transaction. For example, these are very old transactions. If I'm reconciling February and there's still, you know, 2020 transactions um, in my reconciliation section, then that means something and it means either that this is a duplicate I either this looks like this is a bill payment so I either must have entered an expense and just selected the expense um, and then not gone back to adjust this bill payment what this means is I duplicated this transaction so what happened is I probably entered it through the bank feed when I had already entered it as a bill payment same thing with um, this expense. Maybe it was a bill payment and I duplicated just by doing expense and then I did a check. So it's very important that you always clear out old stuff. Very, very important. You don't want to have duplicate transactions. You don't want to overstate or understate your income and you don't want to overstate or understate your expenses. Uh, remember any transactions you enter into QuickBooks affect your financial statements. So it's very important that if you're skipping over these that you are absolutely sure that these have not cleared your through your bank account. And even if they were this old, you may want to reach the person and say, Hey, this check has not cleared my bank. What, what happened? I have it here as paid. Maybe they lost it. Uh, maybe they just still haven't cashed it. I have, um, had vendors that don't cash their checks for months to make sure that that's the case. So that's what it truly means to reconcile your bank account. You don't want to end up having um, just transactions sitting there because then what's going to happen is you're still going to show a lot of, um, discrepancy when you go into your bank section, when you go in your, into your bank section, you'll have, um, a lot of discrepancies between what is in QuickBooks and what's actually through the bank account. These numbers don't necessarily have to be the same, but they can be close. The reason they don't have to be the same is because like we just explained, there are transactions that have not cleared your bank account yet. So they're just there until they have been um, cleared through the bank account. But if there's a big discrepancy um, that you see here, most likely, it's because there are transactions in your reconciliation that are just sitting there that need to be cleaned up and cleared. So you want to make sure that uh, you go through every transaction here, compare it to your bank statement, and then the difference here should be zero. If you can't get it to zero, then there is 
a transaction that was duplicated or that it was ticked that shouldn't have been ticked. You know, one of the things that you can do and that I like doing is you can sort these transactions. You know, you can sort it by type. You can sort it by check if you want to do the check numbers first. You can clear all of them and then uncheck them. Um, and then you can sort by, I use this one a lot, sort by smallest to greatest. Um, you can do that. You can sort by PE. There's a lot of ways, or you can even sort by date. There's a lot of ways that you can um, sort these. You can have use the filters that are up here. I like this one too. The filter that is here that you can help you uh, look for transactions, especially if you have um, a lot of pages in your bank statement and you have a lot of transactions to get through. So there's a lot of different ways you can sort your data to reconcile your bank account. But one big tip that I'm going to give you, if you use the bank feeds, and I usually do this, I use the bank feeds, make sure that I enter every transaction in the bank feed. Because once it's entered, then I can go into my reconciliation section. And when I select to reconcile, all these will be green, meaning they have been matched and synced. And when I select all, then this becomes zero because I know that every single transaction has been entered into QuickBooks because I've done it through the bank feed. All I have to do is make sure I enter the correct and imbalance, make sure that every transaction is matched, and then this becomes a zero. And that makes it just like, so super easy. I don't have to double check um, to make sure that I'm not missing anything because I have already double checked that through my bank feeds. But sometimes, want, you know, especially with American Express, if you're syncing American Express or any credit card, sometimes they don't come through. So if there is a difference, a small difference, then you have to work your way around the um, reconciliation section and sort the data to find that missing transaction. I hope this video has helped you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you on the next one.